Good morning, everyone. Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. Fresh out of the shower. Walk Mr. Hudson. Come here. We just got back from our walk. It's very misty out there. So I know everybody's got a busy day. I do. So uh, we're going to create a very fun mixed media piece today on um, a piece of wood with our, um, I can't even say it, our layer of uh, old book text, which is U-N-D-E-R-P-A-N-T-S. Um, YouTube has stung me for saying that and won't monetize my videos. So we're going to spell it out and uh, hopefully I won't get dinged. So see you on the table. Okay, you ready to have some fun? Here are the supplies that we're going to need. We're going to need our Mod Podge and a brush. We're going to need some old uh, book pages for making the underpants. I'm going to risk saying that word today, although I got dinged by the robots at YouTube for saying underpants, but now I've said it twice. <laughs> You're going to need a toilet paper roll, and if you have one that's a little bit smaller, that would be good to play with as well. Some watercolors. Now these are um, Daniel Smith, I believe. Daniel Smith. Not that I'm married to any kind of watercolors, you know that. Scissors, white gesso, nearly gone. One page from a magazine. A substrate, I just used a wooden substrate. And I've already put my underpants on. So I need a magazine page that's about the same size as my substrate, okay? I have some white paint, just some white acrylic paint. I don't know if I'm going to use this. I may try and stick with the, um, the white gesso. I have some plastic wrap. I have about four pieces, maybe five pieces of plastic wrap that we're going to use today. Okay, now we're going to work in stages. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to put some gesso down on this, and then I'm going to put the magazine page down on it. All right, so I will bring you back for that. So I put the uh, gesso on generously, but not uh, overzealously. We're going to be building a texture here. So the gesso is all over my substrate. I'm going to take my magazine page and put it down. Rub it down. We're working for some texture here. And then I'm just going to pull it up like a band-aid. There we go. And I'll save this for another project. We we'll almost put it on Hudson. I'm going to let this dry. I'll set this aside, let this dry. And then I'm going to bring the paper, the paper towel and the toilet paper roll in. So here's my toilet paper roll and my scissors. And what you're going to do is you are going to go in and you are going to make some slices. This is such a fun project. It's almost embarrassing to tell you about it. But it is fun. Okay, so you're just going to go around the toilet paper roll or the paper towel roll or whatever you have, like this, making these slits, okay? Then once you have all that done, it will look like this. Then you will spread these out. Like that. Okay? And set that aside. I did the same thing with, I don't know what, what this came from. Do you suppose that came from a paper towel? Perhaps, but it's smaller anyway. So I did the same thing to that. All right, so that's something for you to do while your gesso is drying. And also pick out your colors. I'm going to be using, the plan is, I'm gonna be using burnt sienna, ochre, 
and then uh, viridian green. So we shall see. So, all right, we're going to wait for that gesso to dry. All right, here we go. I've got some water in my brush. I'm going to start at the top of the page. This is the top of the page, and I'm going to paint down, okay? that juice here. There we go. Looking more for a denser color than than what we were getting. Now I'm going to dip into the green. Bring that actually over into the gold, the ochre, and continue painting. I'm going to bring that burnt sienna up. And add some more burnt sienna. Just going to put it right on the substrate there. A little bit of water, excuse my reach. There we go. Now I'm going to grab that plastic wrap or saran wrap. I've got about five pieces. kind of crunchy, Scr crunchy, scrunchy. This is the top and this is the bottom still, okay? grab another piece in the kitchen, stick it here, and then we're going to let it dry. This is going to want to peek. Oh, look at there. All right, no more peeking. So this is what it looks like after I take the wax paper off. It's beautiful. I'm just going to go in with some yellow spray, kind of lighten it up a little bit. paper towel. Beautiful, lovely, lovely layers of color. All right, now we're going to get ready for the next adventure. I'm going to grab a piece of wax paper. Forgot to tell you about that in the supplies. And I'm going to put some gesso down. And with a semi-dry brush, I'm just going to move that around because I want a bigger field to play with. And this is how my fingers get all messy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to take my toilet paper roll and I'm going to push it down in the gesso. 
All right. And then I'm going to take that and right here. And this is the beginning of our dandelion puff. Oh, isn't that amazing? Love this process. And I'm just going to keep on adding to it until it looks the way that I want it to look. Now remember I made that smaller one too. So let's see what happens with that. This is the wax paper with the gesso on it. So I'm just going in here and just kind of turning it around, getting gesso on all of those little fronds. Okay. Easier said than done, clearly. Squish that around in there. I just want a little bit more on this smaller one. Beautiful. Isn't that fun? All right, I'm going to let this dry, and then we will play with it a little bit more. Okay, I worked on uh, embellishing this a little bit. I love this piece. So I'm going to show you what I've done. These are the tools that I've grabbed for the last uh, embellishing moment. A black gel pen, my Stabilo, a white gel pen, which I don't know if I'm going to use. And then this is called Liquid Chrome. Thank you, Shona, for introducing me to this. This is very fun. I think I might put some highlights in the dandelion puffs with that. So I did this piece, this puff, and I'll show you what I've done. Basically I just went in with the gel pen drew some lines and then smudged the lines while the gel is still wet. Okay. So that's what I did throughout this one. And then I came in with my Stabilo 8046. I went around the edge. I left this edge so I could show you. What I do is I just make a black line here. Add a little bit of moisture to my finger. And smudge that line in. So what I did for the stems here is I just made a line with my Stabilo and then I smudged it in to give it kind of a blended look. I want to say that the comments that I'm getting on my videos are wonderful. I'm getting lots of questions. Hopefully I'm responding to most of them. Now I'm just playing. 
Now I'm just causing trouble. Beautiful. So this liquid chrome is, uh, it's brand new. Haven't even used it yet. So I'm going to pump it a little bit. Alright, I got it flowing. And can I show you on something? Oh, I'll just show you on this. So basically, it is just some silver. So I want to pick up some highlights in the puffs with that. Not a lot, just some. I don't know if you can see that, but it's very cool. All right, I'm going to finish this piece, bring it back, and say our goodbyes. So there it is. Beautiful. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of sandpaper and just lift this texture back up because we have some beautiful texture from the gesso. I want to enhance that a little bit. Here's our finished piece, sanded, embellished. Hopefully you can see some of that silver chrome in there. It's very fun. So we started off with a simple toilet paper roll and we ended up with this amazing piece. So go play. Ah, go create something wonderful. Stay connected with me. Go create. Go play, go have fun. Thanks for your comments. See you next time.